Hi, this is CBRadioMagazine.com, and today we're going to take a look at a meter. This is the Dozy TC-4001-P test center. This is a SWR meter, a watt meter, and a modulation meter. It's fairly good size. Um, the meter from bottom to top here is about 6 inches. It's about 9.5 inches wide and about 5 inches deep. The meter has quite a few options on it, so we'll walk through those and then we'll get into uh, showing how it actually works. So first off, we got a large uh, meter display on the front here, mechanical movement. It's got a watt meter scale on the top, and to start off, it goes from 0 to 20. If you put it into the 200 uh, watt measurement, this becomes the 20 becomes 200, 150, 10, etc. And if you put it into the uh, 2000 uh, mode, this becomes 2000, 1500, 1500. And if you flip it into the 4000 uh, watt mode, it becomes uh, the scale changes a little bit. You see the 4,000 up here, a 3,000 here, and a 2,000 along the bottom. So you have to read the different scale if you go into the 4,000 watt mode. Hopefully you're not running 4,000 watts, but uh, if you are, uh, the meter is rated for that. Um, I don't think I'd put 4,000 into it continuously for a long period, but uh, fairly heavy duty meter. Next line down is an SWR set and SWR reading um, bar here. What you will do is uh, when you're setting your SWR, you'll get the needle to go over to the SWR set position. And then when you flip it over to measure your SWR, it'll show it here on the scale 1, 1 1.5, 2, 3, etc. Um, just below that is a mod set. This is your modulation set for AM modulation. And when you're checking your AM modulation, you have to set it and then it'll show you your percentage. And you can do the same thing with your single sideband modulation. You can set it here and then it shows the modulation. So different set points on this for different things, SWR modulation uh, and single sideband modulation. Over here is your set adjustment. So when we talk about setting the scale before you actually make your measurements, this is where you adjust it. Just below that is your RMS reading or peak reading. This is to read your wattage. You can either read it in the RMS mode or the peak mode. It's got here a switch for 2,000 or 4,000 watt scale option. If you're going to be running the big 4,000 watts, you'll need to flip over here so you can get a proper measurement. It does note uh, in the instructions to make sure that you do have it on the proper scale for the amount of wattage that you're going to be running. Um, if you're going to be running uh, 200 watts exactly, you might want to flip up to the 2000 scale rather than topping out the 200 scale. Um, but you know, if you're going to run 1000 watts, you definitely need to be up in the 2000 or 4000 watt scales. Here is an option for set or mod. So uh, when you're going to be doing your um, setting to check your modulation, there's a set mode to set it and then an actual modulation mode to check it. This knob here is to control the uh, talkback or monitoring for the headphones. There's a headphone jack over here. They do include headphones with this model and you have to have the power hooked up for this to work but when it's hooked up you can monitor uh, your signals through here using this and this adjusts the volume for the headphones. There's also a light. You can turn a light on for this meter so if you're in a dark room or whatever you should be able to read it no problem. It's quite bright. Over here we have a single sideband and AM option. Uh, this is going to be used for when you're uh, doing your modulation checks. The main knob up here, this is uh, your mode selector and this is the one you'll probably be using the most. This over here is your watt scales for measurement. So if you're measuring your wattage and using this as a watt meter, you can set it to the 20, 200 watt, 2000 or 4000 watt uh, option here. If you're using this option to switch between the 2000 and 4000 watts, you have to come down here and flip this switch as well. SWR set. If you're going to check your SWR first, you need to set it on the scale. You have to put it in this position, then use the S set adjust. Then when you're ready, you flip it over to the SWR position to measure it. And for the modulation, this is going to be checking modulation, you'll have to have it over in this setting. So let's take a look at the back of the unit and I'll show you what it looks like back there. At the back of the unit, not a whole lot going on. You'll see your power plug plugs in here. Your input from your radio goes in and your antenna coax goes in here. 
Okay, let's do some measurements with this just to show how the watt meter works. We've got a 2950DX and we've got it in low RF output. We've got the meter set to RMS wattage. Uh, for dead key it doesn't really matter, but uh, we've set the mode to 20 watts here. So this can be a 20 watt scale. We're going to dead key. It should be about half a watt. And there we go. So this is a one watt on the scale up here. And it's showing about 0.75. Sometimes these uh, early parts of the scales between 0 and 1 are skewed a little bit on the upper end, so I'd say it's measuring about half a watt output. Um, what we'll do now is we'll uh, flip it to maximum RF power on the radio output. And this radio is putting out just in between 11 and 12 watts, about 11.75 uh, as shown here. It's going to look like 12 uh, from the angle of the camera, but about 12 watts on uh, AM dead key out of the radio, we're in RMS. So what we can do now is I'm gonna switch it back to low power and I'm gonna turn up microphone gain and we'll leave it in the 20 watt mode and we'll measure RMS output uh, from the radio on low power. Audio. So just under five watts uh, RMS on the reading and we flip over to peak, I'm guessing it'll peg the meter here. Yeah, so off the meter. So what we'll do is we'll flip up to the 200 watt scale. And this is uh, low power. Showing about 28 watts on the meter. And we flip up to uh, maximum uh, RF output here. Now this is on the 200 watt scale. So you see on this scale on the 200 watt, showing about 9 or 10 watts on the dead key instead of the 12 watts it showed in the low uh, in the 10, 20 watt range. So there's very slight discrepancy there uh, in between the 20 and the 200 watt. And then we can see our uh, peak output about 38 and RMS is about 18. So uh, very interesting to see it has both the RMS and the peak on this um, and your different power scales. And you know we also have some amplifiers here we could hook up and test out, but not going to see a huge amount of difference in uh, what we're seeing. Um, we did test it at some higher levels, and we've uh, marked that all down on a chart to show you um, accuracy-wise a uh, little bit differences between the power levels. Um, overall, though, as a watt meter, fairly accurate and fairly consistent between the different power levels. Um, next, let's show how to do the SWR. Um, give me just a minute here. I'm going to hook it up to a dipole I just made. Okay, so I've got a crudely constructed dipole I just threw up outside. Um, <clears throat> it's not really off the ground, so I don't think we're going to get a great SWR rating here. But let's do our SWR set method first. So we've got it to the SWR set position. We're going to set adjust it on our meter so it's right at the line on the SWR set option over here. And what we can do is you can flip it right to the SWR position. Okay, so it's telling us our dipole is right about a 1.5. Uh, on the SWR meter, which isn't bad for hanging uh, one foot off the ground outside. Um, so obviously if we get the dipole up in the air, it should be doing a little bit better than that. And uh, I could hook up the dummy load here and it should just show me a one, uh, which I'll do in my testing as I go forward here. Um, so overall, testing once again, uh, SWR set, you need to set the calibration right over on the SWR set line here. Flip it to SWR and it'll show your SWR reading. Okay, so let's measure modulation on this uh, RCI 2950DX on AM. We set the mode selector to modulation over here. We have to set it to the set position and we have to do a mod set first of all. So you have to key the radio and we've got the radio keyed. You adjust it here until it's right on that modulation set line over here. Uh, when it's right on that line, then what we can do is flip over and now we should be able to measure our modulation on the radio. So I'll hold the microphone a little bit closer. And as we're talking, you should see it peaking uh, on AM. We're not talking too close to the microphone, but uh, should be about anywhere between 50, 100% uh, and should have some peaks maybe even exceeding it. This microphone picks up the lows pretty well. Audio. So as you can see, peaking just over 100% uh, with the lows on AM for this radio. So. Set up pretty much where we want it. That's how you measure uh, your AM uh, modulation on this. Um, this also has an option to measure single sideband modulation. Uh, to do that, 
you set it to the mod position, um, you switch the single sideband AM rocker to single sideband, and for what you do is you have to do the uh, the transmitter to start off in AM mode for setting the modulation meter. So what you'll do is you'll set the modulation to the set position on the single sideband scale. Oop. There we go, right there. Okay. And now what we'll do is uh, we're going to look at this lower scale, and we'll switch the radio into lower sideband. Audio, one, two, three, one, two, three, audio, one, two, three, one, two, three, audio. So uh, that's a single sideband modulation, and you can see, you know, average will be in, you know, around 50%, and with the peaks hitting up at 100%. So uh, last thing I'll talk about is the headphone feature a little bit more. Um, I can't show it to you obviously because uh, it's a headphone jack here, but it's for monitoring your signal. Uh, monitoring outgoing doesn't monitor incoming, so you can't hear other people through the meter, but you can hear yourself. Um, it'd be for monitoring, you know, what your audio sounds like uh, to hear uh, if you're over modulated or if you're going to be using an echo or noise toys or whatever out of the radio. That way you could hear it through this jack. Uh, this controls the volume. They do include some uh, headphones that came with the uh, Dozy Test Center, which, you know, at first I was like, oh, that's nice. They include headphones for you to monitor. These headphones were uh, total POS, uh, very crackly sound, um, could not hear very well. I just went and grabbed, I had my iPhone handy, so I grabbed my iPhone uh, headphones, plugged them in, and, and it sounded much better. So uh, this would be for just listening in on AM, uh, single sideband, it doesn't have a... Um, adjustment for that's like an all mode talk back so in si side manual sound you know a little garbled or whatever but am picked it up very nicely with some nice headphones and i uh, could hear myself really well uh you know volume came through nicely it wasn't too scratchy or anything uh if i had i had a echo mic or whatever on this radio i could easily have set it and could listen to myself and uh could adjust the volume to keep it from being annoying so uh, the phones work nice, so you can actually monitor what you're uh, sounding like on the air. So that's the Dozy uh, TC4001-P test center, uh, watt meter, SWR meter, modulation meter, also has the monitoring uh, phones built in, uh, it's got the light on it. The meter itself seems to be very well made, um, fairly durable. I did notice uh, on the bottom it has these little rubber legs that are just stuck on there with that you know double-sided tape or whatever and these started to uh, kind of come off immediately but um, you know that's easily glue on you could glue on something else there uh, meters made in the USA which uh, very few things uh, are made in the USA these days so uh, I don't know uh, I think you have to have like what 90% something uh, products to be able to say that these days so that's uh, pretty impressive or it has to at least be assembled or something um, we'll pop the cover and have a look inside just to see uh, what the meter looks like inside and uh, then we'll just wrap up the video. This is the inside of the dozy meter. Our battery's about to run out so we'll do this real quick to finish up the video. Connections on the back side of the meter itself. Um, white wires run to lamps. Those are taped in place. This is your SWR set and modulation set uh, back side of that control. 3A rockers down below. Uh, the LED wires run out. It's white wires. There's uh, dual LEDs uh, or lamps inside here and uh, white wire has quite a bit of uh, slack to it so you could pull those out and replace them. Uh, input and output antenna over here, input over here you can see they both run into the circuit board. Power comes in here, runs into the circuit board as well. There's some adjustments on the circuit board for some fine tuning uh, unless you have calibration equipment to calibrate it, uh, this stuff yourself probably don't want to mess with any of those. Um, or you can make yourself a real happy meter, I guess, right? Uh, up front here, we've got your uh, mode adjustment, uh, uh, mode control, so you can switch between your modes. This is the back side here, and some more rocker switches down below. So uh, overall, seems to be uh, a good meter. Um, seems to be fairly accurate, uh, and its readings, nothing off the charts or anything bizarre And what I was looking at. I'll have uh, pictures of all this as well up close, and I'll post those with the review when I get that done and written up on the website. Uh, meter uh, works fairly well. The uh, phone adjustment works, uh, you know, good for uh, talk back, basically to monitor yourself. SWR was uh, very accurate on that scale, no problem with that. Um, the watt meter, you know, fairly consistent through the power levels, and uh, overall, you know, it's a good meter. Dozy TC4001-B.